The Minecraft 1.20 Trails and Tales update has officially been released, and now is the perfect time to explore all the new content, with new biomes and mobs added to the game. Updates can include changes to blocks and terrain generation of your Minecraft world, which can cause issues when switching between versions. It is massively important to create backups to make sure you have a copy of your previous server files in case something breaks from updating, or if you want to restore your server to a previous version. To create a new backup of your Minecraft server, head to the control panel of your server you want to create the backup for. Stop the server so that no changes are made while making the backup. Now we'll be making a full manual server backup to your computer using an FTP client. If you want to know how to set up and use an FTP client to manage your server files, we have a couple of tutorials linked in the iCards and down in the description. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using FileZilla to create the manual backup by simply copying all of the files in your server directory and downloading them to a folder on your computer. For this video, I'm just going to put these files into a folder on my desktop. Now that you have created a backup for your server, you're ready to update your server. But you might require to do an extra couple of steps when updating your server from even older versions of the game. For example, any server before 1.18, you might need to reset your world to get the new terrain generation easier. Some non-vanilla server types like Spigot, Paper, Forge and Fabric also might not be available immediately, so if you wish to use plugins and mods on your Minecraft 1.20 server, we recommend waiting for the server type to become available before updating. Now for the really exciting part, updating your server. Head to the server control panel and make sure that the server is stopped. Then look for the server type option on the server's control panel homepage. This is where you select the type and version your server will use. Click on the drop down menu and select the Minecraft 1.20 server type you wish to use. I'll be using the vanilla Minecraft 1.20 for Java edition for this tutorial. With Shockbyte, you also have the option to select the auto-updating Villa Minecraft option. If you want your server to just automatically update the new versions of Minecraft 1.20 when those updates come out. Once you've selected the version you want, it should automatically save. Then scroll up to the top of the page and start your server. And that is it, you have successfully updated your server to Minecraft 1.20 and can now enjoy exploring the Minecraft Trails and Tales update with your friends on your Minecraft 1.20 server. If you found this video useful, then like and subscribe for more Minecraft and other gaming content.